Now, the biggest thing on your plate, probably longer term, is the BBC itself. Do you think the BBC Trust is fit for purpose? Uh, I think the BBC Trust plays a very important role. One job I wasn't expecting as soon as I took the role was the resignation of Lord Patton. And so what I'm really focused on at the moment is finding a replacement for Lord Patton, finding a new chairman, and whoever that is, I want them clearly to be the best person uh, for the job. But that's going to take up quite a bit of my quite time in the coming weeks. And by and large, do you think that the Trust should stay? as an organization? Well, these are decisions. I think uh, that's a very important decision, and that should be looked at when we have the charter review. As you may know, or some of your listeners may know, there's a charter that sort of sets out exactly how the mm. BBC works. It's a 10-year charter. What I have decided, though, is that I won't start that charter review process until after the election, because I think it's right to start it when we have a new chairman in place. I'm just trying to plumb your own instincts about the BBC, because Clearly, it's a hugely controversial mm. issue. Lots of the newspapers would like to see the BBC shrivel or even disappear. Other people say that it's no longer time for the licence fee to carry on, that the technological changes mm. mean the licence fee can't carry on being collected in the same way. Even the Labour Party is talking about that. So what about the licence fee itself? Well, I think th th so that's a very important issue. One thing that we already did when we came into government is, despite the charge, we worked with the BBC to freeze the licence fee at mm. £145.50. pence. I still think that's a large amount for many families up and down the country. Uh, incidentally, I think it's just, too high. Uh, no, I think it's a large amount, and I think this kind of this needs to be looked at uh, when you have the charter review process. But you also touch on another important point. Since the last charter review, technology has changed. You know, think of the number of people that consume programs through things like you know, platforms, Netflix or iTunes or uh, even the BBC's own iPlayer. Absolutely. And so that's been a big technological change. And I think when we have that review, it needs to take all this into account. Have you seen an alternative way of funding the BBC which is plausible and could work? Uh, fr frankly, I haven't looked at that yet because right. we haven't started the charter review process. But I think that all these issues are th should be looked at then. I don't think anything should be ruled out and nothing should be ruled in.